So John Lewis just released their Christmas ad and White Britons are pissed is an opera on Twitter and we're going to get into it. And on the other hand, this can hot no fly damsel who's not in distress but would rather see other people in distress want us to bring back slavery because you know that's the right thing to do. And then lastly we have um you know what guys i don't know what to call this one because i already used damsel for the previous one so you know what let's call her madame so madame here which is she has like if i am on her all the time she heads out just in case she encounters a muslim so grab a snack let's get right into today's topic guys it's possible that the comment section of this video is going to be turned off i want you guys to know that that's not going to be my doing youtube is probably going to turn the comment section off on this video because there's a video featuring kids on it so i just want to make that clear it's going to be quite unfortunate because i really would have loved to hear your opinions down below in the comment section but what to do so yesterday a friend from the uk let me in on what was going on in the uk twitter space so some white people are angry that john lewis predominantly featured black people in their christmas ad and they took their anger and frustration to twitter and according to my friend, this is not the first time they are doing this. They did this last year when St. Bury Supermarket released their Christmas ad that featured a black family. There was an outrage as well um, when that happened last year. And so this is something I think we can call a pattern. They don't like it when there's like predominantly black people in their UK TV space, you understand? So... There was an outrage and he shared this with me on whatsapp he shared me the link to go you know check the story out myself and let's have a conversation on it you know yesterday as we were talking but unfortunately the creeps who rule nigeria turned twitter off so i can't go on twitter in nigeria nobody can except you use a vpn and i still have not gotten a vpn yet i tried to get one soft sharp but for some reason i could not figure it out so um back to the story guys I could not check out the story myself so i asked him to send me you know conversations from twitter and all that and he did and i was shocked it was insane i'm going to share with you guys some of the tweets that he sent me because you know he's a busy man and he could not send me so much but he tried thank you very much today for doing this um so we're just going to look into those tweets we have a little bit here so he asked me to guess what the problem with the ad was without telling me what the problem was originally and then he sent a screen recording because i could not go on twitter like i told you guys and then after watching the screen recording of the ad he sent me i could not tell exactly what the problem was because there was no problem with the ad so like the normal human being that i was i went straight to complimenting the actors how cute the little boy was and how she killed the alien role i mean her features and everything was made for this role okay and that was when he pointed out the issue that they were were having with the fact that the leading boy role was played by a black boy and that there were a lot of black people in the ad and that was when i noticed that huh i did not even notice that could it be i don't see color <laughs> i'm joking guys but the truth was i did not even notice you know the whole major black people thing i don't know maybe just the way i'm programmed okay i did not notice it and that was when i went to watch the ad again i was like oh my god there's a lot of black people on this ad and then i started asking okay what is the problem because we watch ad where there's a lot of white people sometimes no black people or no people of color at all and i personally don't have issues with that and we've been seeing white people all the time now is a problem to see like black 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 people like what is wrong with some white people? So there was a lot of comments that was talking about wokeness and how John Lewis is forcing wokeness on their customers because they featured black people in their ads. And then there's comments like this that's talking about how they are pandering to the few and how the advert does not represent reality. And how all they probably achieved is the alienation of the many. You know, when I saw alienation in this comment, I thought it was funny because in the ad, there was an alien that was a white person that they said they were alienating. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. <laughs> I think I want to start off by saying that it's weird when I see white people complaining like this because for the longest of time since forever everything has been representing the white reality and now moving forward we are trying to be more inclusive and dare i say realistic by putting people that actually exist on tv rather than what we see every day of the representation of the same kind of people which is not realistic by the way there is a problem and now they are using the word alienation to say how they feel alienated and how they were not represented in an ad where i saw two white people talking about pandry like there is any other group of people on the face of this earth 
that has been pandered to, like white people have been pandered to. And then there are people that are saying how they are not going to be shopping from John Lewis anytime soon because of this ad. Like, because the ad did not feature only white people like they would have expected it, wanted it to feature, they are not shopping. I have personally not stopped shopping from any brand just because it was not black owned or they did not do an advert with black people on it. And I think it's weird that some group of people will feel this pain and refuse to shop from a particular establishment, not because the establishment is problematic, but because the establishment created an ad with black people. This comment said, to spend this amount of money after all those redundancies is immoral. Alienating the majority is not smart money business wise. Immoral, guys, this comment says, this commenter says, immoral, like the words they bring out when they feel oppressed, when they are not oppressed, nobody's oppressing them. Like that freaking white people on the ad. Immoral. White people not appearing on TV as the majority on an ad is an immoral act. A black person stops along the road and search unwarrantedly is okay. But white people not being put as the majority in an ad is immoral. So of course they can't and won't care about your issues because what they consider to be immoral is them not being the majority in a Christmas ad. The ad is designed to cause division. It has to stop dead this is killing me guys and this person responded saying casting a black person is causing you to become divided from others i think you may have a problem so there were comments from some white people who have sense thank god this comment says so does not being physically represented in an ad now make you understand what non-white britons have been going through for decades how come you follow suit then and done what every other company has done the last four or five months and employed predominantly dark skinned actors is discriminatory here and there who cares quite right constant push push pushing is blatant biased silliness how these people are lamenting and crying and venting they would not have been doing this if it were predominantly white people in the ad you would not see these people complaining or them talking about the lack of representation or how it's discriminatory when black people are not on tv or not in ads or not in movies but now it's discriminatory to have predominantly black people in an ad where there are still white people they take offense that they are not being represented oh god i can't with these people i can't and then we see our dear friend dylan responds you know dylan one of the white people with sense he says you are keeping count of how many black people are on tv and now you are complaining because of it and then this one commented saying had not to when they are in your face with nearly every commercial it's deliberate so it's okay when you guys are the constant k in other people's face there is no problem but then when another group of people show up and in your face just like you've been in their faces for a very long time there is a problem now in your face is deliberate now it's deliberate <laughs> oh my god so it wasn't deliberate <laughs> i don't know <laughs> like, Oh, I'm, I'm done with these people. I'm done. What I find disturbingly racist is the fact of brands exploiting the current racial debate by casting black people to look in tune with current vibe. I direly hope the comment section will not be turned off, guys, because I seriously want to have this conversation down below. And on the topic of brands using black people and exploiting black situations, like when they use BLM, for example, in their bios, just so they can get blacks to patronize them by exploiting black issues pretending like they care when we know they don't i don't know if this is what this brand is doing and i honestly want to have that conversation down below in the comment section that's not what this video is about but i would like to have that conversation whether or not these brands are exploiting black people by using predominantly black people in adverts or putting black people in adverts at all we do need representation how are we going to get representation if we do not see representation going on can it not just be that black people were casted because they were people why is it always a propaganda why is it always something can black people just be people that exist and just be people that can do people stuff without backlash or outcry or outrow or downpour 
It's insane. Can black people just be people that do people stuff without being exploited and without having people who probably do not care and don't want them to be represented as much as they were represented come up with the excuse of how they are probably being exploited so they are coming up with this stuff and saying all they say because they are doing it for black people's good. How righteous of him. I'm not buying that crap, okay? How sad for that little lad that the first thing people notice isn't the advert itself or his performance but the color of his skin and it's cause it's opera. It's 2021, he must only be about 9 to 10 years old. Very sad guys, very very sad. This is the world we live in. I direly hope this comment section doesn't get turned off because I sincerely want to hear your thoughts and opinion down below in the comment section. I would never ever ever uh choose to go to any place that is predominantly muslim and i live in florida in the united states and there are so many muslim immigrants mostly illegals that are coming in from afghanistan that joe biden let in across the border and i'm looking at all these muslims and i'm immediately like oh my gosh i do not have a firearm on me what if they try to freaking blow up the mall everyone knows that i'm anti-muslim 100 percent so Islam is not the religion of peace, it is the religion of Satan. You know, it's this kind of rhetoric that is literally the cause of hate crimes against Muslims. This is the rhetoric that Islamophobes hold. This is the rhetoric that quite frankly unalives us. I hope and pray that she finds peace in her heart and lets go of the hate. You know, this is very rich coming from a white girl when, you know, we have history of white boys carrying out major mass shootings, school shootings here and there. They are shooting people. But for some reason, she's not scared of being amongst white boys or white people because there's a possibility that they could come around at any second and then mass shoot. She did not stereotype all white boys thinking that they all might be mass shooters because given history, this is something that they do. But she stereotyped all Muslims, tagging them all bombers, saying their religion is of the devil. Fam, I don't know. I don't even know what to say right now. You know, when you meet people like this, especially when they are adults and their brain is mature enough to reason and they can, you would think they, they should be able to, you know, critically think and they don't, it's, you don't even know where to start from. Like, at this point in her life, she should be able to know what's right and what's wrong. First of all, to say... And then she should be able to know that she should not generalize because one or two people did some terrible things and then you lump everybody from that category and then you say they are all the same. And then for some reason, you don't do that for everybody. You only do it for the people you choose to paint as evil and tag as evil and tag to be of the devil. But then you don't do it for other people because why they are from your category. You should not be doing that. Like, can we be, you know, throwing stones equally if we are going to be throwing stones? Can we do that, please? Can we not be picking and choosing? These people come online and then they open their mouth. And I'm like, what organisms are living in your brain that is inhibiting you from, you know, what is wrong with you? Who they fry? Who they fry your brain? Like, is somebody cooking your brain? Like, if you were freaking indoctrinated as a kid, or you were fed terrible informations as a kid, you freaking grown up. Like, can these people get it together, for God's sakes? Not only do you have so much hate in your heart for other people, so much discrimination for other people, but you see the need, the burning desire to spread that hate to other people, to let people know of how much you hate these people, to maybe, I don't know, indoctrinate some and get them up onto your hate bandwagon. You come online and you open your mouth and this is what you say on the internet. Like, it's dumb enough that you feel the way you feel. But then it's super dumb that you come online and then you put this kind of information of yourself or be about yourself online. Okay, guys, here's a thought. And this may piss a couple of you guys off, but I don't really care. So you know how they're saying supposedly that we don't have enough people to unload these cargo ships or truck drivers to distribute this stuff? Well, why don't we have all these illegal immigrants who are coming over here unload the shit for us? And then not only that, unload the shit for us, distribute it, and work for us for the next five years. 
to earn their stay here. What do you think about that? I think you're asking for slavery back. And before you say, that's not what I'm saying, because I know, I know, I know how TikTok and white woman tears work. I know. Look what I got already. I'm just out of curiosity. I wanted, I wanted to see what kind of person you were. So I went to your Instagram and I see it's very cute. Love the butterfly. It's super cute. Um, I've seen though that you're part of a uh, multi-level marketing situation. So I just figure I'd reach out to them and see how they feel about their marketing managers supporting slavery. This was, ew, <laughs> nasty. I really like the confidence that you had when you thought you invented slavery though. You were like, yeah, it's a good idea. It just fucks me up because <laughs> I use this app too. So I know that you recorded this video, you played it back and you thought, yeah, this is a good idea. And then you posted it. <laughs> Why would you do that? The shit for us, distribute it and work for us for the next five years. First of all, you can't be illegal on stolen land. Let's just uh, get that out of the way. Secondly, you seem to have a lot of anger towards illegal immigrants, even though your family, in fact, was probably one of the first illegal immigrants. Um, thirdly, what you are describing is slavery. So... It's a weird thing to want back. But about an hour ago, give or take a couple of minutes, they did post this under that same comment thread, um, essentially stating that they have terminated their uh, partnership with Miss Brown. I do think that this is a really good learning moment. I want to comment her for what she did, reaching out to the brand and all, and her take on the video. Um, she said what I would have said, so I'm not going to be repeating anything. She was 100 in her video, okay? Um, yeah, so she reached out to the brand. The lady got fired and she's not working with the brand anymore. I hope the lady in question used this experience as a learning moment and gets off her Karen audacity high horse. But if she doesn't, her business, okay? So we've come to the end of this video, guys. This was a long one. I do hope the comment section in this video is turned on or left on because I want to continue this conversation down below with you guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't done it already, please hit that like button, subscribe, turn on that bell, and I'll see you down below and in my next video. Bye!